What's up folks, I'm Dilofix and welcome to X4. Now I actually, uh, I've changed what this guy is supposed to be doing. And the reason for it is um, I've lost him a few times and I had to go back to the previous save. And I'm thinking that this is due to some of those K class destroyers coming in and just attacking it. So I'm not particularly sure what is going on, but I've lost him a few times. So I've... Um, I've gone back to where we actually start or ended the episode last time, and I'm considering him to just stay here and then upgrading him to Mark III shielding because I don't want to lose the ship already. And it is extremely expensive to upgrade him to level three, but it is a fine ship. It is a fine ship. Um, Speaking of the rest of it, some of the uh, relationships have slowly gone up. I believe we can actually find that in here already. Uh, there we go. Uh, the Ministry of Finance, negative eight. And that's about it. The rest will also go once those miners start doing their work. And, and, and eventually we'll, uh, we'll hit that plus 20 and we'll buy the, uh, the trade offer subscription because that's the one that we want. Uh, we have a buttload of cash. Of course, not in here, but my trade has... Uh, we, we, yeah, we, we, got, we do well. We got 48 million over there. And the rest is all having what they should have, except for him, apparently. We're still building up that factory. Let's take a look at the overview. So, currently, we don't get hydrogen due to the lack of anti -matters. Is that true? Or do we just need more miners? Silicon, do you? Oh, is this all done? Let's take a look. Playphonics, factory, configure stations. What hasn't been done? It looks like everything but these two. So we probably just need more miners. Do we have hydrogen in that system? That I've not checked. Probably though. Yeah, there's, there's plenty. There's plenty hydrogen. I think we just need more miners because this station actually requires quite a bit. Uh, more so than any of our others. If we look into the hull part factory, it just needs uh, methane and ores. The computer egg needs hydrogen, ores and silicon. So that's just furry. Uh, the... Food and medicine need silicon. Oh, that's actually quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five of them. So maybe it should have enough. Silicon carbine is doing well as well with 16 miners. It could use a bit more, but silicon has always been a problem with the Terrans. Uh, we are starting to get the Sentinel soon, and that means that we are going to be transferring some of the capable pilots to some of these ships and we're going to be distributing wares all over the uh, the, the known galaxy as for this the clay front i would like to have it build up because it's uh we do need it we do need it so i'm kind of hoping that some of these miners let's take a look here gas miners so that's helium 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 there's a buttload of helium over there what are you going to do uh, it's helium, hydrogen, and methane. So what I think is happening is that it will just start mining whatever it comes across first. There's no big issue with that. It just takes a bit longer to pick up. Uh, once uh, the storage... Let's go back to oh, it's this one. Uh, once the storage of methane is filled, it will start doing hydrogen. And I think it's the same. Well, we don't need ores. It's just silicon. So you guys are going to be filling that rather up nicely. I think four is enough. We might in the future just go for a large gas miner and ore miners and just get rid of some of the medium ones. We'll just see. It is fun though because I've been going around and where is it? Can I buy ships over here? Let's take a look. Um, I can't. Do I have actually? Do I have a satellite over there? Then how can I? Oh, okay, so, okay, remember that we got the trade offer subscription from the Talati. Well, 
this is a Taladi Empire. It's, it's the Minister as well, but it is Taladi. So it does also count for these guys, apparently, which is cool. And they have an XL class gas miner, which does look incredibly good. I do like the, the look of it. It, it. it looks how I would envision a gas miner to look. And if we go to a high preset, it just cost us a million now <laughs> it's just 37 million well 38 let's just uh do it like and it's not even filled yet um because look at that we can still do a lot more and i would go with just some hmm why would you not fill up it's high preset that's weird. kind of weird all repair drones good amount of collection though really tempted to start getting a few of these around this is a 168 oh no the 186 no 168 i don't get in in dutch uh we say things like um uh, we would go uh, 100 and then eight and then six and in the english is just six eight so 68 and we're at 60 um it's it's weird it's weird in dutch okay just Trust me on this. So what I was thinking about is this is the event horizon, right? So is there also a faction that has a extra large mining ship? And I've not checked that. Maybe it is... Um, this guy. Why can I do this? Why can I buy these like this? And there we go. Here's the, uh, the extra large mine. Oh, that is... Oh, I like this. Oh, I do. Also 36. Actually, it's cheaper. I really like that. It also has some ass docks. Uh, but we cannot um, put like miners on it. It, it, won't, it won't work like that. So it, it is also, it, it's always going to be protection. That is so damn cool. And these ships look so so good so do the terrans also have these sort of ships i've never checked let's zoom out a bit more no, they don't you could go for a carrier 91 million that's damn expensive and we still have to fill it up with small ships and mediums how expensive would that battleship be? The one that we have. I believe it is definitely not the carrier. It's this one, the Osaka. On high price, 60 million. Now, we have it, I think, on medium. And how expensive would it be to actually upgrade him? I know, we also need to repair it, it seems. So it did take some damage. Uh, it still has repair drones. I don't need to... Uh, we'll just get it full on repair drones then. I don't need to care for the others. Also flares. Uh, that looks all good. And it is just like the... The highest shields. 25 million. Ooh... I don't care about those. Just do this. Get the flares. And we still have room. So it has a hundred marines. We'll still fill up well with more capable crewmen. No. No, I don't think that's really needed. Do something like this. More marines. Eventually we would like to use these to drop marines on other ships. And eventually all of these guys are going to be like specialists. Which would be very cool. 25 million. That's bloody expensive. And I... L point singularity projector. I'll have to look into these weapons and see what would be more suitable against attacking fighters or missile defense and all of that uh, because we'll have to set those things up correctly but well, we'll look into that in the near future what we will do is we're going to be taking 
a battleship. And I want you to be kind of out of the void. We're going to be moving you into this location. So go ahead, dock and wait over there. I don't want to lose it. Let's see, all of that looks all nice and dandy. The stations are doing... Do we have the miners now? No, we're still waiting on them. Uh, apparently we... Oh yeah, these guys... I don't like this, actually. <laughs> I, I like things to be clean, you know? But yeah, oh well, it is what it is. So we'll wait until those, uh, those ships are ready. Let's take a look. What can we do? We are building up this Playphronics factory. It's now getting silicon, still no hydrogen. That will change eventually. We might just put in four more gas miners. Or just wait. We can just wait. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see. It's still building, so we'll keep that going. Can I build more? Let's take a look what kind of things we actually have. So we have the antimatter cells, the graphite refined metal, the silicon wafers, the super coolant, microchips, quantum tubes. I think it would be nice to go into boots as well. And I would like to make myself a trade station. I've tried to do that over here, of course, but it's, it's just not working out as I was hoping it would be. Now, this is going to be an expensive one, and I'm actually going to be using this HQ for it. So let's go ahead, build over here. And this is nice, but I'm probably going to replace it with a different docking port. And we'll see how we can actually change all of this. We, I would like to have a place for this. Uh, don't like this one, actually. Takes up a lot more room than this one. And we'll uh, definitely have to place it down somewhere. It doesn't have to go too big. I'm not going to use it as production. But, well, we could probably just um, hook this up somewhere over here. Let's take a look. And I actually promised myself I wouldn't do this. Why can I not build you over here? There you go. Let's go like this. Then place you on there. That, that's possible. It's very possible to do it like this. Uh, we'll keep the Terran stuff just so we know where we got, where we are from. And we'll go with high preset this time. And we would need storage. And we'll just use these because, well, it's easier for us. So, and we'll have a buttload of these eventually. Not right now. So we don't need liquids. We don't need salts. We need containers. And in order to defend ourselves, I would like to get rid of the small one at some point. But for now, we'll just place two on each side. That's two million. And... We'll also go with high presets on both of them. So I think by that, loadout plan, no thank you. Are you now being fooled? Okay, we got the barrage turrets. And they are medium. Um, I know there is probably, and these are all Terrans. Oh, that is not what we want. That is not what we want to do. Just keep in mind, because these would need Terran equipment. And we are a very, very long way away from them. So uh, for now... I'll look into that later. Let's go towards... Where do they want us to go? Why would I fly towards the HQ? What is going on over here then? Now we have a mission. Priceless art stolen by the arrogant. Going clean. That is the one that I would like to go and do. So let's go ahead and talk to Del Basta. Okay, let's see. It is a nice looking ship. Is it a um, a miner? Oh, I like the docking port down in the bottom, though. And you know what I absolutely love about this game? is the uh, You can actually see the AI doing things. And you just saw, like, the shielding. Those uh, D-stripes. It is uh, the shields of the station which protects us. I think it is a... Uh, a it doesn't seem like a combat vessel, though. Oh, it's such an easy way to get into. Look at this. There you go. Hey, dude. Ah, Captain. 
Welcome aboard my ship. She's a beauty, isn't she? She's equipped with the best surveillance and computing technology around. And you couldn't ask for a better crew. Handpicked them myself. So, what can I do for you? Uh, what exactly do you do? I'm here to give Hatikva options on how to deal with their scale plate problem. I specialize in analyzing and resolving troublesome situations. But to do that, I need reliable information. Okay, um, why are the Actifas being targeted? The Hatikva Free League has spent a lot of effort getting closer to the Argon Federation, as well as presenting itself as an up-and-coming economic power. It was decided that dealings with Scaleplate were to be scaled down in order to smooth any relations with local law enforcement. Scaleplate has taken this as an affront to their operations in the area. Now they want to play dirty. Oh, that's damn sad. Uh, where can I help? Eager to get started. How about we give you a nice, simple task to begin with? I agree. We need more information regarding scale plate supply lines and distribution methods. Anything to help us in predicting their movements and behavior. It's also something the local law enforcement would be interested in knowing. You'll be acquiring that data from one of their stations. For that, you'll need a computer worm to confuse their security protocols. Lucky for you, we can have one prepared in no time. Hmm, you'll need a nimble ship. Perhaps a scout. Just in case you need to get out of there quick. We'll send you the worm program when it's ready. Okay, so I think one of the options right now is that we should probably get a scout vessel. Now, we have one. We have one that is currently... Oh, these are now finally being built. It is doing a lot of exploration for us. Uh, we are going to belay you of orders. Uh, I'm actually going to... Let's see, you are to Ladi, right? So, if we go and send you towards this station, upgrade and repair. It doesn't need repairing. I'm going to put you back into a high preset. Because uh, if we are going to fly this, I would like to get out if, um, if possible. Let's take a look over here. Let's assign some service crew. And we have our flares. Don't need advanced. Let's take in just a few of each. Maybe a bit more. Let's go with 555. Five, five. You never know when you need it, right? Add to shopping list. And confirm that order of a million. Just like that. So it will go ahead and upgrade. Now, for us, we have a different task. We're going to be uh, assigning some miners. Uh, which is going to be extremely annoying. I'm very sorry for that. But uh, I'm going to be firing all of these pilots. That are just not going to cut it. Uh, unfortunately, you, you, I wish that you had the option to get ships... Uh, without pilots. Uh, unfortunately, that is not possible. So, yay for us. Right? This is an annoying task that I didn't wish I had to do, but it is like this. Eventually, I do want to just assign these ships to stations because I don't like them going around like this. Um, but for now, it's needed. Like these. All of them are currently working. Uh, he is in the asteroid belt, so he's, he's safe now. And so are all the others. You are docked and wait, that's good. Let's go to personal. In management, we'll go with the current role of captain and we'll add those skills. Let's see. Now, you are all on gas, miners and bolos. So we're going to be transferring you. Oh, that, this is going to be very annoying. We'll have to check... Uh, if we go to ship information... Look, see, this one doesn't have any crew. Oh, that is going to be lovely. This is absolutely not a good thing to do. Let's go to the Clayphronic. Anyone over here that is a level 2? I think this is the easiest solution for our problem. Because the newer ships actually all have more crewmen. These, I think, are just a bit too new. Uh, let's go to our hull parts factory. I think it's the same with them. There's a level 2. 
Uh, you have some able crewmen, that's good. Okay, you, you're going to work somewhere else for me, and that is going to be in this Sentinel. Select that as a captain and assign. That means that we can now press this button and say promote best crewman to captain position. Here we are. That's why I want to have more crew on all of my ships so I don't have to do these very, very annoying tasks. And I think I will just do the rest of them off camera because I think my ship is done. Let's see if there's more of them. No, there isn't. Okay, so what we would do is we're going towards the ship that now has a captain. That's the level two. We're going to behavior and we're going to be distributing wares. The add and remove is just we're going to be removing all of them. Pressing OK. And we're going to be confirming this. And eventually it will find itself in a better position. So it should go up right now. It will start searching for known deals. And I kind of want to send it towards like the Aragon. And see if we can actually do something over there. So fly and wait over here. And once he's there, we're going to be getting towards behavior. And we'll get rid of this one. And hopefully it will start doing the distribution of wares over here. Now what I would have liked is an option to set a sector. A starting sector. Now eventually it will just travel the entire known world. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we'll wait until he's there. Let's go towards our scout vessel who is currently... Over here. Docked. Wait. And I think you are now completely upgraded. Let's see. Mark 3s. Do you have Mark 3? Shield. Yeah. Trusters. Combat engines. Uh, docking computer. Yeah. This one is definitely upgraded. And you have your service crew. Which is good. I want you. We will actually transport over there. Let's teleport over there. And going clean. We've uploaded the worm to your ship database. There you go. Don't worry, it won't do anything to your systems. Hello. Yes, get out. The safest method of delivery is through an external vulnerability. You can usually find some on poorly maintained stations. We leave it up to you which station to target. Just let the program do its thing. Okay, so we need to find ourselves a hat station. I believe there's one over here. Yeah. So, let's set Guidance over there. Actually, no, it's Deb. We need to target the Scale Plate Pack. Where are those guys? Stop Guidance. You would assume they would be in this range somewhere. Do I have... Any relation with them? Can I see that? These guys. Uh, where can I find these guys? The scale play. Maybe there's something in the encyclopedia. On races? Oh, galaxy? Factions, perhaps. Scale plate. There you go. Current HQ is in an unknown sector. That's great. Police authority is unknown. Known sectors is unknown. Oh, we are so screwed. I need to find these guys then. So this is definitely... <laughs> is going to be impossible for us right now. We've already um, established that all of these are kind of safe. And I think we will need to have our scout run this sector. I think it's actually very near to them. And hopefully we'll find them shortly. So we need another way, another, another thing to do. That's going to be a lovely episode, isn't it? Got so much things to do off camera then. Uh, let's get off the seat. Now, selecting the scout. Go ahead and explore over here. Just make sure this Greetings. is somewhat centered. You go ahead and go there, mate. You got a very fast ship right now. Let's take a look how much money we have. And then I would like to have myself teleported towards... I believe like the Taladi representative who is apparently over here. The Vulture Vanguard is over there. I can't ex just go over in that range. Um, 
Where's my scout again? He's over here. Uh, before you do anything, mate. Uh, Doc can wait. I believe it is the faction representative, right? Uh, let's go to... Legend. The guy with the crown. The faction representative. Yeah, that's the one that we are looking for. So, if we can get... Some... Actually, I need this guy. Never mind. This one is the other one. Yeah, this is the... T we have a better reputation with them. So, it's probably a bit cheaper. Uh, let's go here. Dock and wait. And let's go towards the ship with information, behavior, and... We'll put this one down. This one can actually go... This one is the Taladi trading station. Entering yes. system. Silent witness. Go. go over there. Go dock. Turn around. He's like, ah, oh, you dude, seriously? Yes, seriously. So he's already heading back. It doesn't take too long. Luckily, the ship is really fast. Should we buy a few more miners? He's at the moon right now. Entering system. Profit center alpha. Let's think. Let's think. What shall we do? Let's go over here. Building. We are going to be changing this one. We just don't add weapons. Eventually, we'll need to remove that. I already said that, but uh, it is something. So we might just add a bit more docking over here. Let's go with... Some... Entering system. Bright promise. Something like this. Some of the audio is a bit loud. Sorry for that. I just don't know how I like the audio. Are you... Yeah, you are bumping the station. I hate that. Let's get a cross in there. Okay, so it is connected, apparently. It doesn't really change the uh, position of this now, does it? So, well, let's unhook this. Entering get another system. cross. Yanamos Zura. We just uh, get you. Thank you. Now, this one is connected over there. Ah, got the brain fart, guys. Uh, do I want to do it like this? It looks kind of hideous. And we have connection points to the bottom. Like that. Remove this one. Do it like this. It's there in the bottom. And we'll just get another one. Large container. And then do it from the top. Apparently, there is a problem with the ins and out of that station. We can also do it over, over here. Let's see. No. Okay, so only at the bottom. Oh, uh, we can do oh, it like this. Works. Yeah, sure. Why not? So let's assign ourselves a... And we'll do this with a empty loadout. Because we just don't have the good weapons for it. Change that. Get ourselves a builder. Now we can also we can now use every one of them. So let's select these guys. And we'll put... I didn't meant to do that. No restrictions. Available money. We'll do that in a second. Also, the energy cells can be turned. No restrictions. So, let's close this window. Click the HQ. Press in the information. And 3 million. Yeah, we have that. Not too not too much. There we go. We, uh, we just made all of that money. All of that money. We are really doing well, guys. We are. Actually, that cost me money. That's interesting. Are we buying? Okay, I need to check that. I don't want to buy anything. Oh, I'm going to be very busy off camera today. Didn't mean I did not want that, actually. The ship will be undocking soon. Oh, you better not dare that, dude. Um, you stay there, dude. Seriously, stay docked. Because I kind of need to be here. And I don't want to be left without a ship. That would be awkward. Let's go towards the representative office of the Taladi. 
I really hate the look of these stations. It's an honor. Okay, anything I can do. I don't have the policing license yet. Good profit to yeah, you. Yeah. It's an honor to see you here. Uh, modules, production. So we still have the advanced composite, the advanced electronics, the antimatters, the engine parts. So this is all for ship construction and weapons. Plasma converters. Let's go with you, spices, uh, water, uh, we might as well just try to buy as much as possible, right? Engine parts, hull parts, scanning arrays, get the smart chip in there as well. And confirm good this. Profit to you. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, let's go back to our ship. And now... I'm going to have my scout... Explore over there, please. Ah, starting to lose ships. It looks like there is going to be some issues here. We need to build up a fleet, and I would love, I would really like to get a defensive station, maybe two of them over here, and just secure these two systems. Holy shit, what the hell is that? Oh, I think that is what eventually will kill my, um, my battleship. They are really mounting off a, an attack. It's good to know. And he has another one going, of course, in 18 billion. Of course, damn you. Playphronix is already struggling. Microchips. Um, it looks like, let's go to hydrogen. Wait, we don't have any, f really now. No, we, we should be making these, so... Interesting. Why did this just cost me money? Is it... I don't know. I'll have to look into that. So yeah, we, we're definitely, there's a lot to do. We are quite spread out. Usually um, building in a location and spreading from that is actually the better, but currently we're just in two places. We'll have to look into that in the future. Can, when we actually know what we want to achieve. Because we could also just, just focus Entering on the Terrans, system. assist right them, promise. and start pushing into Xenon territory and see what kind of wars they bring themselves into. And just focus our attention on the Xenons. And in, in another series, we can pick a few enemies and destroy them. It's possible to do that. So, basically, in this episode, we uh, we have started a mission that we couldn't start, we couldn't finish. I've started the construction of a HQ, which I couldn't finish. I've built a bunch of miners, or actually, a bunch of these. Let's put off flying and waiting, thank you. Go ahead. And I still have to do all of them. I basically accomplished nothing today. Yeah, great. Well, still hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.